hi everyone and welcome back to my channel um today's video is going to be the best of 2010 um for me the products that have been my faves throughout the year and um yeah so let's get started everything i um have fits in this little um sephora bag so um I'm gonna put them all out first. So, um, anyway, this is my first one right here. This is the Yes to Carrots See the Defense Exfoliating and Smoothing Mud Mask. This has done wonders for my skin. Like, um, like that. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a mud mask that I put on my skin and have been using it religiously, like every couple of days, because it says to do it um about two to three times a week, and you just put it on your face, you kind of like rub it in, leave it on your face for five minutes, and then after five minutes, you just wipe it right off. And this has really helped with clearing up my skin. Um, I don't know if in previous videos you could see that I had like zits all over. This has worked. Um, I'm also loving Yes to Tomatoes Facial Hydration Lotion. This is amazing. Um, this Yes to Tomatoes line is amazing. I've been using the facial um, hydrating mask during the um, night, uh, morning and evenings and then I've been washing my face with the Yesu Tomatoes Trouble Free Facial Wash. Purifies and Balance. Combination of organic tomatoes, watermelons, rosemary and Dead Sea Minerals. So I've been using this as my facial wash. This combo right here has been awesome. My skin has cleared up. My skin looks so much healthier and better. So these are my top for facial stuff and then everybody's favorite max fix plus um i like using this not only to use it as like a thing when i have pigments you know to use as eyeshadow um mixing medium but i also love this just to give your face like a hydration like when you're when you feel like your skin is like not doing really good and it's kind of like sticky and stuff spray this on your face it will change the way your face feels I love this one this one is awesome um also I've been loving Urban Decay's All Nighter loving this this is the long lasting makeup setting spray I put this on my face in the morning before I head out to work and my face makeup will not budge like totally stays on no smudging no nothing this is awesome even when you're going out um at night like if you're going to the club or whatever or out to dinner i would suggest getting this this is just awesome i've not had a complaint about this so far so again this is the urban decay all-nighter um long lasting makeup setting spray and then i have my Too Faced setting powder, this is the Prime and Poreless, and that's what the container looks like. Um, this is awesome. You can use this as a, like, um, before you put on makeup to prime your face, and then after you can use it as a setting spray. I use this as a setting powder. I don't know if you can see inside of it, but it is a finely milled powder. But it goes on silky, silky smooth, and I can see in my face that it it just makes my face look real. What is the word? Um, not matte, but really, really pretty. Really, like I have nothing, like no pores or anything. This really, really does a lot. Love this powder. Um, along the lines of um, primers, I've been in love, in love with L'Oreal Studio. Studio Secrets Magic Perfecting Base. I don't know if you can see that. That's what it looks like inside. 
I've tried like Urban Decay's one, Max, and things like that. And sometimes it would make my face feel real cakey or like sticky. This doesn't. This honestly just smooths my face, like smooths my face and like fills in all the fine lines by my eyes and things like that. So this is a good one. Try it. It's out. You can get this at Walmart, Walgreens, Ulta. Love it. Um. Foundation this year, I've been in love with Revlon Colorstay. Um, this has been my favorite. Um, a lot of um, makeup will totally um, make my face itchy. I will break out and whatever because I have really, really sensitive skin. And this has been by far the best mask um not mascara the best foundation that i've tried and it has done wonders and it covers really really well it blends really really well and i just love it so this is my revlon color stay foundation um for concealer i've been loving the benefits boing um concealer this one is the Instru industrial strength concealer I love this stuff it covers really really well coverage is really really good it does not um, cake up on me or anything some people say it cakes up on them it does not cake up on me at all I, come, I don't have it on today I have my Mac moisture select on today but I love this one um, for my eye bases for my eyeshadow bases I've been loving Too Faced and Shadow Insurance is like washing this bad boy out but yeah I've been loving the Too Faced shadow insurance it's been I love this this is awesome and I've also been loving the MAC painterly paint pot looks like that's just like a concealer conce concealer color um, it I actually combo these two I put um, Too Faced shadow insurance down first and then I go in over with the paint only paint pot and my makeup will no joke last like 16 18 hours my eye makeup without creasing or smudging away um for my cheeks I've been loving benefits Coralista I don't know if I love this first of all it smells really really good but that's the color it's like a the perfect coral coral color it is so pretty it looks so pretty on everybody else every every skin tone and it smells so good but this is a must must get and then I also been looking for a more natural golden goldy bronze look I've been really liking max um, max cheek and cheerful it's a mineral mineralized skin brush blush been loving it it just gives you that nice hue of gold tones and you look like really really healthy looking when you wear it um for eyeshadows i've been lo in love with this quad right here from maybelline this is maybelline stylish smokes in natural i've been in love with this palette broke it too but i've been in love with this palette especially this color right here it kind of reminds me of satin taupe from um, MAC but it's not as dark and it just makes the really the most prettiest um, crease color and so this is the Maybelline stylish smokes love it um, I've also been in love with NYX or NYX nude it's just a really pretty nude um, eyeshadow it's really really pretty for a highlight I love this I use this as an all-over lid color love this if you haven't tried it try it you'll fall in love with it too um what else? I've been in love with a couple Mac eyeshadows um the first one I'm a really if you if you don't know I'm a real nude nude lover that sounds funny but this is um rice paper from Mac I've been in love with this color not only for a highlight but also for an all over lid color um, I've been in love with soft brown I just dug my finger into my eyeshadow great but um, I've been in love with soft brown from MAC love 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 
and then I said ding that and sable from Mac I've been in love with these colors lately um, just for all over lid color and then the sable and the soft brown for in the crease and blending I've been loving it um, for my eyebrows I've been loving the benefit browsing it looks like that I really don't use the powder which is right here I mainly use the wax and I've been loving it. I fill in my eyebrows like this all the time. Love it. Um, for eyeliner, I've been loving um, L'Oreal's Lunar Intense um, Liquid Eyeliner. looks like that with a felt tip it just is beautiful like the way it goes on just super super black super super black um i think i forgot it in my um bathroom but um and also another eyeliner that i've been totally in love with and i think is my favorite eyeliner is um urban decay's 24 glide on in zero that is my absolute um, love, love, love eyeliner. I use it on my waterline and um, on my lash. Love it. Don't leave home without it. Mm -hmm. I think I have like seven pencils actually because I'm afraid that I'm going to run out. And then if I run out, then I, 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 I will panic. <laughs> and then for <laughs> mascaras, I've been liking um, Bare Essentials Buxom. This is awesome. I've been loving it. This is the brush right here. It's very, very flexible. It really does volumize and lengthen my lashes. And then I've been liking um, from Benefit Bad Bad Girl Lash. I've been loving it too. Look at that brush. That brush is huge, but I love it. These two together are awesome, awesome. And then last but not least, my lippies. I've been in love with so yes to carrots um, in melon lip balm. That's all I have on today. It really is moisturizing, hydrating to the lips. Love it. Oh, oh, another eyeshadow from Mac that I've been loving is Glamour Check. I love this color. Um, okay. So this year was the year of the nudes. You know that everybody was into nude lips, and I got into it. My favorite one are Revlon's Soft Nude. Love that color. Revlon's packaging too has been stepping up. It's so pretty. Also from Revlon, I've been loving this lip gloss and it's in Pink Whisper. Loving it. And then I've also been loving, oh, here's my Urban Decay 24-7 pencil. Ha 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 ha, found it. Um, this is the Lip Buxom from Bare Essentials, and this is an amber. This is my all-time favorite, favorite color. Um, I love this. I if we can pick it up, but yeah, loving it. And then I've also been loving from Urban Decay, the Pocket Rocket in Doug. Love it. It's just a pretty mauve sparkly color right there. and then my last two lipsticks that I liked is Airy Fairy from Rimmel love it right there and from MAC Modesty looks like that right there so that is it. That is my top picks of 2010. Leave a video response. I would love to see what your top top, top um, products of 2010 are. Until next time, thank you. And if I don't see you guys or talk to you guys, you guys have a wonderful new year. Bye.